Get a local recording going. And let's jump into this. Gotta get my mileage out of what's left of this game now, because Monster Hunter World Beta is coming, I believe, this weekend. Which means I need to renew my PlayStation Plus. So, when we last left off, I believe um, I was gearing up to do the Rathian and Rathalos quest. Can't remember if I got everything I needed for that or not. Uh, I can't remember. What does this guy have? can't remember where I sent him. Okay, yeah, I only sent him to one place. Bunch of twos and a four. Yeah, I'm better off holding out. Anything else in the village I can check? Hi. Oh, is one of the ships apathetic or something? Yeah, it is. Alright. Now. What do you have selected? Fire attack. Oh, the guy Chris is still out. And there's a Rathian later on. Let me check my abilities. Uh, let's see. Oh, I still need one more hearing charm. Can I get one more hearing charm? Should be right at the top. Yeah, I need another Rathian webbing. Damn it. Whatever, I can fix this. Let's see. Uh, I'll need the. No, not that one. There you are. Oh, wait. Does this have the hearing equipped? Yes, it does. Okay, we're at 10. Change this fire attack to thunder. And I didn't really mess around with the dance as much. It's just a matter of getting the right food bonuses to line up. Which, in this game, is more of a challenge than others. Oh, this is a tough one. Escape Artist and Black Belt are really good for stamina. And Riser's High is good for... Mm. And then there's this one. Where I have one useful one. And one... Well, if I don't use Dung Bomb, Slider might be more useful. But Sharpshooter does nothing for me. But Defender High, though... I'm gonna gamble. Damn it! Okay, let's go out, uh... Hi. Do it for a warm-up. Let's capture a Rathian. Let me check my inventory. Uh, yeah, I cleaned out after last time, so... Gotta refresh.
Wait, I have two. Okay, I have more shock traps than anything. How am I doing on trank bombs? Okay, still pretty good. And flash bombs, I'm getting kind of low. Might as well just load up my inventory with stuff I'm going to need. Alright, let's go and capture a Raffi. Again. I need to remember that when I eventually do Rathian and Rathlos, because there were two monsters in the same quest, they're each going to be a little weaker than usual. So in theory, in theory, the Rathian I'll face here will be a little stronger than the one I'll face in that quest. Ah, uh, damn, I... I thought you got three of those, but no, you get... No, I thought you got two, but you actually get three. Because see, like, that's three, that's three, that's two. Antidote was two. Flash Bomb was one. That's a lot of numbers to try and keep track of. Good for you. Okay, man, get it for it. Oh god, that is a large barrel bomb. What are you doing? You have other attacks, you know. Oh, this thing must be tired. 
scary. an attack where you stood still that would be great. Okay. Thanks so much, Matthew. Is it really going over here? Usually it doesn't do that. I completely misread that, and it went to area one to eat one of the Aptonoth. Aptonoth, Aptonoth, Aptoni. I can't remember the plural forms of a lot of these monsters. Oh, it didn't go here either. Go straight up to the fall. Oh. oh, and it did eat one of the aftermath. Dangerous. Wait. Oh, I was gonna say, it ate and it's still tired? Ow. Other attacks, you know. There you go. Oh, your plugs work. I mean, I'm still going to do the suicide dive out of reflex when I see a monster here. But it's nice to know that it can actually work. Oh, there it goes. Most dangerous game. Quest if you do. I know it sounds superficial to be excited about the graphics of a Monster Hunter game, like the worlds, but uh, considering how long it's been since they've done like any significant graphical upgrade to the game, it's going to be, it will be significant. And then, they kill the dragon. Okay, I know where you're going. Now, because these assholes are going to get in my way. Uh, 
I'll pretend you don't see me. Got it. Will he land in the water? Tune in next week to find out. Oh, Wrath Marrow, nice. Oh, it was a long one, but not the longest. The gold crown long ones are ridiculous. Like, I wouldn't be able to hit the tail, except, like, really close to the body. And he got nothing. Fresh the trank bombs. Wait, no. I'm gonna redo this so I go in with five trank bombs. After what happened last time. Sorry, I'm just thinking about what I'm going to do. I should make sure I get the food bonus first. I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, this is not looking good. Riser High is the most useful thing right now. And that is not something I would want to go into this kind of fight with. Hi. I mean, Footy could be useful if I fainted. That's a big if at this point. We're like 50 hours in and I still haven't fainted. Oh, if you like hunting monsters, huh? Well, get a move on. Pretty good catch almost anywhere, eh? Well, go there, take this fish finder, and off you go. And I think one of the farm rounds is done. Yep. Yes, it is. Uh, what do I need? I'm low on antidote herbs, but I have plenty of antidotes, so not much of a rush on those. Scatter knots I don't really use. Some excite shrooms going. Let me 
the meantime, what do I do while I have this food bonus active? Oh, herbivore breeding. There is something I could do real quick. Oh, since I mentioned it on Twitter, I might as well go into it now. Uh, over the weekend, I took the Japanese language proficiency test, which was fun, in a way. So the way that works is, it varies slightly depending on what level you do, but either way, you're basically spending four hours in a building being quizzed on Japanese. Ah, shit, I didn't mean to hit the baby. So, uh... I'm actually kind of lucky because it happens, like, right down the road from me. It's on Ohio State campus. Uh... It's in the same building where I think Honda has a couple of rooms reserved for like off-site meetings and research and shit. But anyway, uh, there are a bunch of guidelines you have to follow before you even get to the exam room. Like, uh, before you can enter the exam room, uh, when you check in at the front, they'll give you uh, basically a garbage bag and basically anything you're not wearing into the exam room you have to put into that bag so like uh, if you have a jacket you fold it up and stick it in there because you're not allowed to have jackets like on the back of chairs um, if you have a wallet that goes in there if you have uh, Cell phone that goes in there. Oh, that's like the most strict rule of it is uh, if your cell phone goes off at any point during the exam, and when I say goes off, I mean if it rings or chimes or even if it vibrates, uh, your test score is invalidated and you're asked to leave the room immediately. Basically, uh, the only thing you're allowed to have on your desk are uh, pencils, the test voucher they use to check you in, uh, uh, erasers if they're separate from the pencils for whatever reason, and um, shit, what was the other? oh, an analog watch. Or, uh, yeah, they specify the kind of watch, because um, watches that have any sort of memory function on them aren't allowed. They are really concerned about people cheating in some way during the test. direction is it going to fly? And, uh, another thing they won't let you do uh, during the test is wear hats. Like, uh, if you're wearing a hat with the bill facing forward, or even if you're wearing it facing backward, they'll ask you to take the hat off and put it in your garbage bag, which you have to keep under your seat. Another thing is, um, I had a regular classroom which ordinarily I think would see like 30 people. And there were a total of 11 people in the exam room. 
because they basically had one person sitting at a desk that was designed to seat two people. And everybody had to sit uh, on the right side of the desk. That way you wouldn't have one person sitting on the right side close to a person sitting on the left side who would potentially cheat and whatever. Why four hours? Uh, it's a Scantron test. So, all the questions are multiple choice, which makes it sound easier than it actually is. Because, uh... Like, most of the... Okay, it's split up into vocabulary, grammar, and a listening section. And the thing is, in each of those sections, they try to do shit that will deliberately confuse you. Because, uh, sometimes they don't say, choose the correct answer. They say, choose the answer that is the best fit. And that's where the ambiguity comes in and makes the test a little more difficult. Uh, yeah, return to village. So, if I remember correctly, the, uh, the vocabulary section was the shortest one. That, I think, was 25 minutes, and then there was a 15-minute break. Uh... The grammar section, uh, which also kind of doubled as a kanji reading section, was uh, by far the longest. That was 50 minutes. And then there was another break, and then... By the way, during the breaks, you're only allowed to go so far from the room. You can basically go to the restroom and hang around like maybe 10 to 20 feet away from the room outside. You're not allowed to go to different floors. You're not allowed to leave the building. Uh, you're not even allowed to leave like certain parts of the building if they're too far away from your exam room. What am I doing? Oh, right. Oh, nice, flamboyant quill. I will never say no to rare items. And the thing that really trips you up is, uh, when I say multiple choice, um, most of the sections, you have, like, four options. So you're like, wow, 25% chance to be right, even if I have no idea what's going on. And then, uh, when you do the listening sections, uh, I think it was, like, three choices. But they make sure that all the choices are very close in meaning to each other. So you've got to really listen for the nuance of what's being said. And uh, I said that the test takes four hours. Another thing to keep in mind is that the uh, Japanese language proficiency test isn't like all over the country. Like, there are some people who drive from, like, an hour plus away to... Why did I do that? I'm about to fight those things. I'll fix that later. Uh, so yeah, some people travel from really far away to be able to take the test at all. I'm gonna use a voucher. Wait, that's my only one? Well, shit, never mind. And again, shit abilities. Or at least, not the ones I'm looking for. So yeah, when you consider the amount of time that the test takes, um, and the amount of time, like, driving there and then driving back, as well as- oh, fucking Of course it would give me Ultra Lucky Cat now. Fuck it, I'm just gonna capture the Rathian again. Yeah. 
So yeah, if you, let's say you take an hour to drive there, that's one hour going there, four hours taking a test, one hour back. So that's six hours of your day gone just taking this test. And the test started at 1 p.m., so by the time you get back, the sun might be either going down or down already. Because this test only happens in the U.S. once a year. And then, so that's not nerve-wracking enough, uh, you don't actually find out how, how well or how poorly you did on the test until February, and this test happens at the beginning of December, so that's like two months of agony. Just thinking, did I, did I pass? Did I not? How close was it? I'm gonna have to study for the same level again for next year? That is not working out. Well, at least the only attack I can hit with so far is the, the tail whip. If this were Pokemon, that would do no damage to me. I mean, everything else would hurt, but the tail would win. So yeah, I'm hoping I pass the JLPT. Uh, I won't be done with it, because there are still like higher levels I need to study for, and eventually take. Probably my first mistake going into it uh, the first time was I didn't really understand what was being asked for at each level compared to like what I was studying in the So I was a little caught off guard by uh, the level I touched on. Um, yeah, I'll probably go for that again next time, assuming this one works out. By then, I feel like I should be ready. Like, really ready. Like, I won't just luck my way into passing this. Good. The sit up animation saved me from being hit. Okay, I got both the wings first. That usually doesn't happen. And the face. Now we just got the tail. Oh, I thought there was a shot trap for a moment. That was really confused. What are you doing? Yeah. 
tanks, I guess. All right. Back. Yeah, yeah, Look away. Oh, you're not limping yet. Oh, trust me. Here. I know the Aftonoff come through here and I'm trying to make sure it doesn't eat. Okay, now I'm a little worried about killing it, so not gonna attack for a while. Yep, it's starting to limp away. I'm just gonna hang out here. Still run. Cha cha, really? Timed it that time. I'm trying to get it so I would freeze right as the main quest thing came up. At least I got one of the webbings back. was almost a record short. Ugh. Now I gotta figure out if I can actually stream the Monster Hunter World beta. Because my setup is not made for streaming next gen stuff. Well, I guess it would be current gen stuff. I don't know, pick a gem.
Alright. If I don't get it this time, I may just have to do something else. Because I'm probably going to need the whole 50 minutes. God damn it. These food bonuses are not cooperating at all. Rathalos just to change it up. I think that's what I'll do. I'll make sure my items are in order first. Hey! I should be good. What I'm looking at is taking place on the deserted island anyway, so no worries about heat. Wait. Hi. Oh boy. Get that treasure. Precious booty. <sighs> also, if I seem a little anxious, it's because, well, aside from that whole Japanese language test thing, uh, there was a package I was waiting on. And a uh, rather important one because it had a bass guitar in it. <laughs> Finally getting a new base after so many years of uh, the one I had before. Gee, how many years? God, I can't even remember when I first got that. It's been a long time. Anyway, uh, so it was shipped through UPS and they said it was they initially said it would be delivered Friday. Uh, it didn't make a Friday. The tracking said that there was some sort of thing that happened to Shimon that caused it to get mixed up, and it was going to be delayed a day. So then they said the date would be Saturday, and uh, that didn't happen. And then they said the date was Monday, and well. Monday as in today. So, uh, time goes by. Uh, uh, like, I worked today, so I wasn't home most of the time. And then I come home, and there's still nothing there. I mean, it's a bass guitar, so it would be really noticeable if it was at my doorstep. Yes, earplugs work. So anyway, uh, usually UPS advertises that uh, if they're delivering on a certain date, they'll deliver between the hours of 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. So when I got home from work, I checked to see if it got delivered, and it said it had. Oh, it's so nice not to worry about that. Um, time 
continues to tick by, and the tracking thing for the entire day said, uh, like, it was on the truck for delivery. So I'm at work, really nervous that this thing is going to show up while I'm uh, working. And that's whoever's delivering it is A, not going to ask for a signature, which uh, I usually don't. And B, uh, someone might just swipe it from the porch because it happens. Fell over in the room. So, uh, I got home from work, it still hadn't shown up. Time is going by, it's still not showing up. But uh, the track thing still says it's like out for delivery. Finally, like, it's six, quarter after six, still hasn't shown up. So, I just go out with my girlfriend for dinner. And then, uh, I get home, I think it's around 7.30, maybe a little after. And lo and behold, there's this rather tall brown box leaning against the front porch. That's at least taken care of. I can rest a little easier knowing that it got here and saved. It's really nice too. It's actually right next to it. he does that, he just launches the fireball right in front of himself. So it's really easy to make sure you're not in the wrong place. Well, in theory, like if you're stuck in the middle of a combo, you might just be SOL. I think if you mind you want to attack. Oh, he's actually leaving this time. But where to? I'm assuming south. thing to do. Oh, here it comes. I don't seem to do this attack very much, but I like the setup for it. Doing it again. 
freaking corner I was in now. Jeez. He's embedded himself in his own line. Oh yes, it worked. Oh jeez, that wing does not want to break. Yeah, it's broken. You can tell just by looking for the gaps in the weather. Are you tired? Well, even with low sharpness, I can still do those combos. When I'm done. I actually did send you a picture of it uh, in and out of the box. Because that was like the moment I got home. I'm like, holy fuck, it's actually here! Obviously, I have to make some adjustments to it, and by make adjustments to it, I mean slap a bunch of stickers on it. Because that's how I roll. But I think it's trying to eat. Either that or it's taking the long way home. It's just ignoring the afternoon. Ignore this. Yeah, that's useful. I should just have flashbox selected all the time. Killed the baby. Actually, that might have been me with the uh, spirit power. Oh, I'm just going to say that the melons called it caused it to flinch. I refuse to believe anything else. Oh, come on, come on, come on, land right in the trap. There we go. Let's see, how long did that take? Twelve fifty eight. All oh, right, this is a hunt quest, so actually I have a little more time. Stones a bit.
You know, I probably should have done this more considering I don't think I actually hunted Rathalos that many times overall. Okay, I definitely didn't hunt it that much if that's the short. You could say that's the long and the short of it, but that would be awful. And I would have to hit myself for saying that. Okay, everybody's busy. Moment of truth. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fu- Defender low, defender high. Black belt and courage, and all I got was courage. This is bullshit. I think the game just doesn't want me to do that quest tonight. Oh, of course Rathalos shows up tomorrow. Fuck it, I'm going to speed run a Jaggy. And then we'll try it one more time. And if not, I'm just going to sleep. Because I actually am kind of tired. Oh, uh, more mail trouble, but I'm also waiting on uh, a pre-order I did for Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which uh, it was supposed to be an in-store pickup, but at some point it wound up not being an in-store pickup. And that has been moved back three times now. Supposedly it's coming tomorrow. See, if it's here. Well, that's that. Where the hell did the Great Jaggy go? Might as well get something out of this. Nice, spider web all three times. They were in the same area. Yeah, that was three swipes of my sword. And, uh, yeah, still broke.
That's got to be the record. I realize I say that every time, but it really felt like it's that time. Well, villagers, you're on your own with that Rathian. Obligatory giant skull, I won't complain. Two halls and a crop. Hi. This little mix of a guy for scales and clean sex. Always take some Mr. Narwhals, those are good for trade value. Oh, you feel like hunting monsters, huh? Uh, actually go here, because... You could use the uh, dash extract if you get that. Oh, these guys too. Fuck it, just go here. Everybody wants to hunt monsters now. Monsters, even. Why would you hunt monsters? Something else to note about that Great Jaggy fight earlier. Great Jaggy's biggest weakness is fire, not thunder. So, uh... This sword's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, I'm well stocked on god bugs now. Just so I can have a decent reserve of those. Okay. Going to dump some items. And I'm going to try this one more time. Nothing is lining up. And the bonuses are all shit. I mean, R Medic and Riser is an okay combo, but it's not what I'm looking for for this fight. Still hunt a Rathalos, technically. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do.
I think not. Wait, I saw a shadow go by. They should be over here, I think. Yep. Done it, that fireball probably would have knocked the sword out of my hands and into the next zone. Chasing after the Athenon that are left. Looks like it's doing that, although last time it just ignored them. Hey, what are you doing? You went after the smallest one? Well, second one. Was broken, got a bunch of shots in on the head. Out. Oh, cha -cha, we're supposed to direct it away from. Oh, that hurts. 
but I think just the left wing is remaining. That's what it looks like. God damn it, that's still been count. Whoa, okay. I haven't seen you do that before. Okay, everything is broken. It's actually good. Now we can chance to back up and reassess the situation. Oh, what am I doing? Not taking any chances. really tired. It's done the anim idle animation three or four times now. Just in the past few minutes. Specifically going for the head because that's where uh, we can do the most damage. That and the neck. Kind of mad. It's leaving. Let's go into area seven. Yep. When you Jaggy's there to greet him too. Last one was a kill shot.
shit. They are cooperating because they are thoroughly intimidated by me. And they use a rap a little. That's 1,000 points on that one. That is that. Pointing, but whatever. Hey. Oh, he's back. God, everybody wants to hunt monsters now. I'm gonna talk to the trader first, see if I can get maybe some spare spears. And of course I had him go to the area that doesn't provide that. Oh wait, no I did. for advanced armor spheres. I'm doing that. So is there anything else for two stars that I would want? Uh, doesn't look like it. No. just make more of the traps and the bombs.
And that cleared out a bunch of my taking up inventory space. And I might as well see if I can put those armor spheres to use before I head off. So that just boosted my defense by 10, which I will absolutely take. That's base 157, that'll help. And I have one more crop ready to go. to go a little longer and maybe try one more time for that quest, but I'm not going to have enough time if that goes to full 50. <sighs> okay. Going to try again next time. Although, Depending how long I last on the beta, Monster Hunter Monte may end up being Monster Hunter Worlds. So we'll just have to wait and see about that. Depends on if I can find a decent setup for it. Because I don't have a TV in it near my streaming PC, which is also my PC for everything else. I don't know, maybe I can find a short-term solution? I don't know. One last time check, and then I'm calling it. Fifty-two friggin' hours. <sighs> That's a long time. Especially considering I actually just finished the single-player campaign a while ago. Well, next time I'm going to... Uh, Try going for Rathian and Rathalus again. Hopefully I have better luck with those food combos, because... Holy shit.